So I'm just listening to uh, the free le free Kevin Lane update that I hadn't watched. Which I've just shared across to my Facebook profile under the hashtag free Kevin Lane. who's in prison because of a dispute with his child's mother and the corruption within the state system that's keeping him now locked up. And it was a child access dispute and the man's language is languishing in prison because of the corrupt system. He's already paid his dues in life for anything he's done wrong in life, served his time and now he's languishing in, in prison because a woman and corrupt elements in the system that I've uh, discussed with other former prisoners and give him a heads up that Boris Johnson changed the rules. And this was told to me by the probation service. Um, after inserting agents into the prison service and the probation service, government agents use under the uh, investigatory powers act and then he changed the rules back again after inserting those agents those agents are there to section imprison or kill any threats to uk plc Or the crown. Right? I was very clear on explaining that to people that were uh, not aware of that. Because the same was being done to me and I only served 77 days. Right? And we all know about Brigade 77 and their online activities because it was all to do with the symbology of a jubilee in 1977 of that system with that person's name above the door and her government inserting agents to do that bidding. And you've seen me co-videoing the police as they attempted their setup two, which was Recorded in Thorpewood Police Station without his knowledge and then sent to an uncorrupt police officer. To be investigated for corruption and being devious in contracts, which he was trying to get me to sign. So once I recorded his actions in his own words I then sent that recording to an uncorrupted policeman in a different area 
because I can't trust the police in this city. Right? And that's why I haven't complied with dog muzzles or walking my dogs outside of this property. Any of my dogs, not just the XLs. Any of my dogs that are under my protection in this dwelling. Because they're rescue dogs. Right? Got it so far? Because I was set up and corruptly coerced into signing a community. Remember who's in the Facebook community? Yeah, because they like to put their posts in my news feed. And after I interacted with uh, Cambridgeshire Police, and stated honestly and truthfully. Yeah. You set people up. You'll corrupt your organisation from head to foot. Set up one. Was signed by the chief of the Cambridge's. Police service. And we all know who the Cambridges are. Yeah. Well, after flipping the police helicopter, the bird that was spying on my location while I was going about my garden clearing work, On the Monday, the charges came through that I would be charged for the original setup court case, which was setup number one. After being deliberately provoked, threatened with violence on more than one occasion, and I was, I took notice of those uh, threats of violence after the guy said he was going to knock my block off. And when he ran towards me outside the set up post office there. And went chest to chest with me trying to provoke me. As soon as he moved his hands up to try and punch me and knock my block off. I defended myself. And when he motioned with the look in his eyes that didn't have blood in them, so he could see, so he again lied in that court case, and he'd already been proved in that court case to be a liar, because I'd recorded him making threats of violence towards me. Right? But that was a closed court case and I wasn't even allowed to have my son who witnessed the whole thing as my witness in court because it hadn't been booked in by the solicitors. Because I had no private legal counsel because everything was being monitored on the phones. So we weren't allowed to go in and see the solicitor. It all had to be done via phone contact, which was being listened to by the state so they could work around that. The video that I was shown while overdosing and being unfit to be tried, and I'm not a medical professional, but I was dying from an overdose in that courtroom at the time, and I couldn't even see what was being shown on the video screen as they're asking me is this the video have you edited that to the police and they said no we haven't edited it 
I said, well, that's not the uh, video I was shown in, in the uh, voluntary interview by PC Smith at all. So there is police corruption and setups by corrupt officers in this city after Boris Johnson had changed the rules and then changed the rules back again after inserting agents for the name above the door or not because we don't know the truth about whether the monarch has the power or not because we get lied to about history don't we right because it's all about controlling the narrative so uh, while my chicken's sitting over there the curried chicken curried roast chicken that I've just cooked and my Yorkshire puddings are in the uh, oven tray, which I'm just going to show you. So while that meat's cooling and breathing, in a minute, I'm going to go in and show you the rest of the dinner, yeah, while I'm talking about this. Yeah, and then I'll sit down and watch the uh, end of this update which they stopped letting him talk about to the outside world because it was ruffling official f uh, feathers and it was gaining momentum so they said he wasn't allowed to do that anymore but he had to have permission to do that in the first place and then they withdrew the permission so they're playing mind games with him trying to break him while he's in there and he's a loving caring father which is why i'm talking about it on father's day and wishing him a happy father's day in elmley where i think he's still being held so free kevin lane Now I'm going to start showing you what I'm doing with my dinner before I go back to listening to the rest of that. So let's take the chicken back in the oven because I've got to wash up the chopping board before I can chop it up. But we've had that's right, my jumper hooked on the crate there and I didn't want to rip it open. We've had multiple gin in here that have been exterminated, attracted to uh, the mess over there that I haven't had time to clean up properly. I'm not the floor and everything and pick the dog shit up where she's desperately trying to defend her bedding from whatever's in the hallway with her while she's being kept away from the dogs. And I put her on a clean nighttime bedding laying down there so she's near her pack and every time the gin come near her the food or the rest of the pack they're getting exterminated all right get on that bed now get on that bed now lay down God, it smells really good actually let's have a look at it on the ultraviolet light So it's just madras and curry spices over the roast chicken. I looked through the freezer and I ate the roast potatoes the day before I went to uh, cook the, uh, get me the Iceland shop in yeah? So I'm trying to concentrate. Don't forget I've had two Nefer pans now. Get away from that, Lola. On your bed. If you touch your nose on that, it's gonna hurt you. Get on your bed. 
Now, good girl. Good boys and girls in there. Well, I've just got to, uh, there's no gin in here. Just got to wash that up so I can. Uh, All the washing up I need to do for uh, that is there. Let's uh, finish that off now because that should be done. I might have to relight it though because my co pudding's cooking behind it. So let's see if I've instinctually turned it off at the right time. Yes. Strudels cook to perfection instinctually, yeah. But I'm gonna leave that in there like that for a minute. I'll we'll check the uh, roast taties. Have a little bit of light on the situation, shall I? Hash browns. Cooked in the curry and olive oil. Roast uh, the veg was just boiled and then put on there. I want to eat it quickly, so I'm just going to rip a bit of skin off. Yeah, you better run. Get up there now. Now! Food feed, spoon feed myself, yeah. So if everything's going in the same bowl, it goes in one hole and out the other hole. Doesn't matter what happens in between, does it? Yeah. So all the hash browns have soaked up is the olive oil and the curry sauce, yeah. And the wet vegetables that was put in it into the olive oil and the chicken juices are just in olive oil and the chicken juices so I don't need to make no gravy on it do I yeah I don't need to mess about doing that because I want to eat the food quickly before it fucking goes cold. So I'm just going to rip off bits that I want to eat off the chicken and then put it in the oven to cool off. Yeah, before I wash up the container and put it in the fridge. And eat the rest as and when I want it. Yeah. Advantage again while I'm distracted. Get the fuck up on that bed beside your bitch. Stop making your brother anxious. She's not enticing him, she's laying down, being a good girl. The pheromones are driving him crazy. And Willow hasn't come into season. Yeah, she's not far behind it. Right, so. Got it? So what I'm going to do with that, there's no oil left in the bottom of the pan, is it? Because it's all been soaked into the vegetables. Which have uh, taken up more of the curry spices. Along with that hash browns. Yeah, let's just put that down there a minute while I lazily, well not lazily, I've only got one hand to do it with. Get on that bed now! 
Good boy. So let's chuck all that in there. See? Not enough olive oil in there to run in there. There's my pudding finishing off. Chicken skin off the top. I don't need to dirty the hash hatchet doing it, do I? See the way the curry sauce, uh, curry powder is just the extra curry powder that I put on top of it after it had mainly cooked. That's so two tops of uh Audi or little madras or whatever the other one was that I put on top of it. So I'm going to eat all of that skin because I don't need to check if it's been cut thoroughly cooked through, do I? Yeah. The rest is going to be cut up properly and probably put in a curry tomorrow, yeah. So that's quite enough for me at the moment for today. Um, the rest can now cool on that plate in there. And yeah, that's the stuff that's stuck to the bottom of the saucepan. I'll well, pick it all apart, wash up the container. Along with that, what I need for tomorrow to make a curry with. Yeah. So I'm only washing up that bit. That I don't need to wash up now, do I? Until I need to carve up the chicken. My pudding's in there. Waiting to go. So, put that in there with that. Keep it away from... Any wee beasties that are still lurking in here. Spoon and fork, not a knife and fork. Because I'm going to be eating one handed, aren't I? Right, let's take that in there with me to wipe my fingers on before that goes back through and I'll rewash the dark wash. Not a bad end to the day is it? Doesn't need salt and pepper to season it, does it? So I'm just going to uh, lay on my bed and watch the end of this interview. Put the lighting on for a little bit while the solar panels are still working up there, happily, on the roof. Because there's only a fridge freezer being used and that little ultraviolet light, so they should be able to keep up with that. Right, the cleaning I'll do when I'm well enough to do the cleaning. At the moment, I'm dealing with multiple issues, aren't I? Uh, like that, look at all the fucking bruising coming out from behind the makeup. All right. Right, move. Move over there so I can stretch my legs out. Both of you, please. Move. Move. Come on. Move. I need some leg room. Move. Ah. 
Move. Thank you. Bedding's got to be washed on a white wash after me after I do the you want to sniff do you? you you got your back turned to me what's that smell like then you can't have any chicken today though no, because it's got too many spices on it so i can't even give you the chicken but you got your own chicken meaty strips haven't you all right but you just wanted to smell didn't you you wanted to use your nose like dogs yeah because that's how you Use your senses. Right? You're not judging me for any human smells in here, are you? Or state of cleanliness or anything? No. Right? The same as I'm not judging you dogs. With your territory marking and natural ways, I'm just letting you be dogs in your natural state while I retrain you with what bits need correcting. Right, while keeping you in your natural states. But the dogs that have been interfered with by the state are not allowed to be in their natural state because of Murdoch Media pushing the fear agenda, scaring the British public, forcing the globalists that put him in, put them in power through their media manipulation of the public in this country. More on that subject, you'll have to look into how the Investigatory Powers Act was set up after it was investigated by the government and morphed into the Investigatory Powers Act by the then Home Secretary Theresa May who they then selected as the leader after the press pushed that agenda to get her selected as leader oh you'll have to look into the corrupt politicians and the Murdoch media empire because he's doing exactly the same now stateside while he's hiding out there away from the British public who have exposed him for what he's doing. On that, you'll have to look at BHTV to see what they did to that person in the phone hacking trial. And you need to listen to the evidence that he's put out. All right, as he tries to heal from what they did to him. Right? And destroyed his career and tried to silence him. Huh? So it's all connecting. Everything's pointing in the same direction. And, uh, yeah. He's busy uh, with his new carer, Jerry Hall, who was married to Mick Jagger. Um, and we all know what island they went off to play on, don't we? On Lolita Express. Because Epstein didn't hang himself, did he? Do you see how it's all connecting now? Gisling Maxwell, Prince Andrew, Jimmy Savile, King Charles. All 
All right. Can you see how it's all connecting now? Rupert Murdoch and his organisation took over from Robert Maxwell. Who was also proved to be a Mossad agent. All right. So you can see how it's all being done now, can't you? And you and this is in no way anti-Semitic. And the ones that uh, are getting manipulated at the moment are pushing the agenda of the Greater Israel Project and the expansion of Israel. And we all know about Rupert Murdoch and who's the other one? The one that shot his hunting buddy? Mm. Oh, there goes another dead gin. What's his name? Cheney. And Rothschild, those three who are all after and invested in taking away the Palestinians' oil and gas reserves that are under Gaza and off the coast. So why are they evicting the population off of the land? And why are they pushing that agenda on those people that are protesting on the streets of London and kicking off about it. Oh, it's all starting to make sense now, isn't it? And the corruption is all falling down now. It's all being exposed bit by bit by different people. And when you start to look at the bigger picture, it all starts making sense. So I'm going to leave it at that. That's a 33-minute video. Have a lovely Father's Day, folks.